Hello and welcome back to thatictsite.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to configure RIP and the steps involved with that. So sit back and enjoy the video. Okay then, so let's make a start with this RIP configuration. Okay, uh, as we did with the static routing, you'll see I'm just doing connectivity tests to prove that the, uh, the devices can't ping beyond their neighbor device. Okay, they can ping each other. We've set up the IP addresses as shown but we can't ping end to end because we've got no routing protocol and we've got no static routes. Okay, there was one that failed there, but that was uh, easily corrected. So uh, over onto router zero, and we'll just uh, try to show the ping commands that way, the way you would do them in real life. The exclamation mark says we've got three successful pings to the neighbor device. You'll see. Okay. So we're pinging the router, we're pinging the local PC, but we can't ping end to end. So global config mode, and then we type router rip, which says, I want to run rip. And then we're going to use version 2. Version 2 is a lot more flexible than version 1. And then we use the network command. The network command says, I want to update on this network, and I want to advertise this network. So each router is connected to two networks. The case of router zero is 192.168.0.0 and .100.0. After that, we end and that router is done. Then we move across to router one. Same script. We're into um, global config mode. Type router rip. Then version two. and then type the network commands for the two directly connected networks. So it's one network command for each directly connected network, which says, I want to up update everyone else about this network, and I want to update on this network. Okay, so .100.0 and .1.0, and end. Okay, back to privileged exact mode, use the command show IP root, and we'll see our routing table. Okay, quite simple, the R, denotes that that is a, a network learned by RIP, which is also shown by the admin distance of 120. Slash 1 says we're one hop away through serial 0 slash 0. Pop back over to the other router. Again, privileged exact mode, show IP route. And you can see we've got two directly connected networks and one network learned by RIP. Uh, admin distance 120 again, metric 1, again out of serial 0 slash 0. So we'll just try some ping commands now. So to ping the remote PC, and we're getting a response back. Look at that, fantastic, it works. And just from the other end for completeness, type in the ping command again, 192.168.0.2, and again, we're getting replies back. Fantastic, we've configured it correctly. Okay, and if you're using Packet Tracer, again, you can use the uh, the graphical uh, method, which shows we have been successful again. Okay, that concludes our video for today. Um, the video has been about RIP. We've gone through the basic configuration steps, so it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching from thatictsite.com, and I hope you'll check out some of our videos in the future. Thank you.